Hello everyone, welcome to this video where I'm going to be going through how you set up your brand new posting periods for the new financial year in SCP Business One. Um, I'm, as you can see, I'm already logged in, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the administration button, system initialization, and the posting periods. So here you can see I open up the, the posting period window. Um, this is obviously contains every posting period you've ever created um, since you implemented your system. Um, but I'm going to scroll down to the bottom just to see what the most recent period is. So as you can see, I've got my, my latest year, which is 2016. Um, you know, it's coming to the end of the year now, so I know that I need to create my brand new posting periods for 2017 so I can continue to post marketing documents. I'm going to go ahead and click on the new period button which then opens up this uh, small screen. So the first thing I need to do is enter my posting period code. Um, and in this case, it's going to be 2017 because that's the year that I want to create. Um, and then again, for the posting period name, I want to add 2017. You don't need to add any dashes or dash ones or dash twos because SAP is going to do all that for you um, when we select the sub periods. The sub periods, um, speaking of, are going to be months. I'm going to select that and the number of periods defaults to 12. So coming down again, looking at the posting dates, because when I set up my system, um, my I say my financial year starts in January, you can see that SAP knows that and it's gone and created, you know, it's, it's saying that my, my this is the, the length of the, the year. Um, obviously, if you had a system date that was, you know, your financial year started in April, you'll default to April. You can see there it states the start financial year and the accounting year. So now I'm going to go ahead and add this. And you can see automatically all of the periods have been created. Uh, so as I was before talking about the period name, if I now wanted to go back into a period and maybe give it a more meaningful name, uh, so we'll pick December, I could go ahead and change the period name to December 2017 update that and you can see then that that is reflected in the posting period. Um, some other things that you might need to attend to after you have opened your periods is looking at the posting dates and the due dates. So posting period, uh, posting dates sorry, tend to stay as is um, but usually when you're maybe coming towards the end of your financial year you may need to attend to the due dates. Um, this is mainly because, as you can see, my due date is set to go from the 1st of January 2017 to the 31st of December 2017. But as I'm coming towards the end of December, I might then need to post um, invoices that have due dates that go into the next financial year, so into 2018. So it may be then that I need to go and extend that uh, due date to you know, the 31st of the 1st, 2018. Um, and that will, doing that, uh, will you know, will stop anyone any users seen any error messages or anything talking about date deviates from permissible range. Um, so that's one thing to look at. So I'm just going to click OK and that'll take me back to the posting period box. Um, so really that, that covers how to create your posting periods and any kind of amendments you might need to make later on. Um, thanks for watching this video and uh, have a great day.